What's up guys, let's go classic YouTuber style. This is like my third time refilming this. Actually fourth, I don't know. Um, excuse me, I'm gonna use some of my <laughs> lotion. Um, yeah guys, so I have been in San Antonio this weekend, so my update is a wee bit late. Sorry guys, so, so, so sorry. Because I'm filming this on Monday because I didn't get home to like 11 o'clock last night and I just wanted to go to sleep. I went to San Antonio to hang out with my best friend who was going there for work. Um, she found out the Wednesday before she went that coincidentally um, her work was not going to start until Sunday. So we got the whole weekend just to hang out. Yes, my room's a mess. Yes, it is. I need to clean it up. We already know that. I'm human. I'm not perfect. I don't always have a perfect room. So, yeah. Y'all know I'm using my Yo Soy Earth. Um, from Yo Soy Earth .com. So, yeah. Just, just getting those fingers. Because I have been eating. So, I wash my hands constantly before I eat. Because I'm also cleaning and stuff like that. So, this week, y'all, let's just jump right into it. Um... I had an increase in my house note. It's going up an extra $155. Oh, that's a pain in my butt. So basically what happened was I found out that our insurance, not insurance, but our new company that took over our house note did not update the amount of money that we owed for taxes for the city and the county. And I had to send those in because they were getting ready to make the payment on the 15th of this month. So I needed it to be the right amount because I didn't need any extra fees or anything like that from them not getting it right. So when they updated it, they realized that they were going to have a shortfall this year. So starting in December, our taxes, uh, not taxes, but our house note is going from $1,613.08 all the way up to $1,769. <sighs> that sucks. The, I guess kind of saving grace on that um if it does come through is that my husband is supposed to be set to get uh an increase again yes guys he's supposed to get one fourth quarter according to the cfo of the company so let's see we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that that goes through so that will be our one saving grace to that um other than that guys what's been going on is let me zoom in a little bit oh uh, yeah sorry yeah, other than that, guys, what's been going on is, like I said, I went to San Antonio this weekend. So I took a flight on Friday, took a day off, and flew to San Antonio. Today is Monday. We actually have a day off today. So I've been there until yesterday. Had a lot of fun. We went shopping. We went on a ghost tour. We went um, to the Alamo for like two seconds. <laughs> and basically just chilled around the riverfront. I don't like telling people where I'm going because as I told y'all, I'm an introvert, antisocial introvert, sorry. I know some of you all recognize me around Atlanta as I'm like going places. I even got recognized in my hairdresser. So that was kind of interesting. Um, so hi to everybody who recognizes me. I, I will talk to you, but I don't openly say, hey guys, meet me here. Just It's just not in me. So while I was out, I actually did a lot of shopping, y'all. I'm not even going to lie because I took money to go shopping. I have $1,000 in my travel fund. And I decided to use some of it. So while I was there, I got um, these wax melts from a company called Scent Chips. And the wax melts are Harvest and Fall Blessings. And what they are are literally these little chips that you put into your little wax, um, the little wax thing that heats up and it smells the house. I, this is one of my Achilles heels, guys. I love things that smell good. So, like I said, I got those two. We did a buy three, get one, no, buy four, get one free. So I, I bought two, my best friend bought two, and then she got one for free. So, yeah. So then I went to a shop called Bird and Pear and they had my favorite candle. I got my favorite candle plus I got the car warmer. I'm um, not car warmer, but car vent clip for my favorite candle. So I got this votive red can uh, current candle and this candle 
my boss's wife gave it to me once and I love this candle so much and I was so excited when I was able to find it again. It's made in South Carolina and it's, you know, sold every now and then in different places. I know like uh, Amazon has it and they up price it. So I got the small version of it, but then I walked around the store and found this company called Bear and Rue and Bear and Rue actually makes a red current candle just like this one and it is actually hand poured soy oh, <laughs> but yeah it's actually hand poured soy candles so this one was actually 24 dollars. this one was 15 for the small one so these are going to be my fall burning candles i i prefer soy i prefer less um chemically smelling candle so um i kind of wanted to get a bath and body works candle but at the same time i know that how it affects my nose and my sinuses and stuff i can't leave those things lit for a while because i immediately get sick these things i love them um well i haven't tried this one this one i actually love and i'm able to burn it with no problems after that i'm looking at all the stuff up here we went to a copper um a coppersmith store and I wound up getting this bracelet um, from there. And it's just basically, I'm sorry, I now have Shea on my hand. So it's basically a little copper bracelet. Yes, that's my birthmark. Yes, it's actually green. And if you get it under fluorescent light, it's just, it's dark otherwise. So you'll see all the little spots and stuff. But um, yeah, so I got this copper bracelet because I wear the rose gold watch. I figured it would be pretty cool to go with the rose gold watch. And it's something simple that I could wear because y'all know my style. I like to keep it simple don't remember the name of that store and they didn't give me a business card to go with it uh, we walked around the corner and we found this place called Plaza Toxic Plaza Toxco sorry Plaza Toxco and it's jewelry from Toxco I found these earrings let me see if I can get it to focus on them which are like peacock feather earrings um got those because I don't know if you all noticed but there's no earrings on my ears and what happened was when I was at Disney, I kept taking off my hood. Um, so basically I had, you know, the rain poncho and I kept pulling it off, putting it back on because it would rain, it would get hot, rain, get hot. And somehow I flicked my earring out of my ear. And so I only have one earring now. So I was looking for replacement earrings. Then the last day we were there, I wound up going to a jewelry stand that was underneath on the riverfront and got two um quartz what do you call them necklaces on silver chain so i found the blue one and was like well i want the um plain quartz because i asked him if it was real quartz and he was like yeah so i was like i want the plain quartz so i wound up getting a one quartz and one which was tumerlin or something like that Tum i forgot the color it's called but it's it's the same it's just another quartz one so I got these two to wear. So that is pretty much what we did. We uh, did some shopping, we ate a lot. We went to a place called Dick's where they get to be as mean to you as they want to. But I think I scared the guy so he was afraid to be mean to me. <laughs> um, because I, I guess uh, my personality comes across like, don't be mean to me, please. So he kind of toned it down for me. Um, we went, we got a big old I got well let me grab that I got big old ice cream from Ghirardelli because I had the opportunity to get that and that was pretty much the trip in a nutshell I may or may not include the footage from the trip because it might take too much time it's already at nine minutes but I want to talk to y'all about my car and how much it hates me so you all know I drive a Volvo XS40 it's a 2008 I got in it on Monday, went to crank it up, and it sounded funny. So I did it about three times. I could turn it off, crank it up, turn it off, crank it up to see. So I thought it was crazy, so I went and got my husband, Lucky, and I was like, Lucky, come crank up the car. So Lucky came, cranked up the car. It took him longer to get it to turn over. So he was like, it's either the battery or the alternator. So, oh, great. So he turned it off, cranked it up again. He said, well, that cranked up faster. Why don't you go ahead and drive it to work? And I looked at him like... Are you serious? You're going to tell me that it's either the battery or the alternator and then tell me to drive it to work so that way I get stuck and you get to come and 
four o'clock, well, five o'clock traffic, because I get off at 4.30, so by the time he gets down there, it'd be about 5.36 to come pick me up because I can no longer start my car. It's like, that doesn't sound real good. So he said, okay, here's what we do. You go ahead and drive your Camry. I'll drive the Volvo. And you're going to get the, your new car soon, right? I was like, no. Lucky I was waiting for the 2019s to hit the lot because once the 2019s hit the lot, then they'll drop the price on the 2018s. Because right now the 2018s are $19,695 and I want them to drop it a little lower. <sighs> All right, y'all. Let me tell you my thought process. I think I've explained this before. I got burned on my Camry. I mean, absolutely scorched. My Camry is a 2002 Toyota Camry. I bought that car after trying to replace the windshield in the previous car. We had it replaced three times. Last time, a shard of glass flew at me when I was getting on the expressway. And I was like, you all can't even properly replace the windshield. And they were like, let's just switch you out for another car. So I got my 2002 Camry V6 at the urging of a very unknowledgeable then boyfriend. Took it to my mechanic. He put it on the lift and there was literally a rip through the metal down the center of the car. Um, tried to take it back. They wouldn't take it back. They tried to say that I made it, that I did it. And I was like, this thing is rusted over. I've had the car for less than two days. They tried to say that I could have done it with the less than two days. So we went through this whole thing. And basically, it was a nightmare. Um, wound up going to court, suing, getting it fixed, and have been driving it since. So yeah i don't like buying used cars because i don't trust dealerships anymore i can't i can't do it so that is why i buy i'm buying new this time instead of used um because i do see an opportunity for me to buy a 2017 that is like 3400 dollars below market value but i don't know why it's 3400 dollars worth below market value i'm totally scared of even trying it my husband admits he doesn't know cars I don't know cars, so I prefer to just get one from the dealership that has not been driven by someone else, that has not come from the north and has salt damage underneath, that has not been hit and sent to Georgia because Georgia will sell that car. So that is why I decided to go with a 2018 guys instead of a 2017 or 2016. The plus side, I guess, on all of this is they are all priced around the same price. Um, with the exception of that one car that I found, they're all seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars. So I guess it's not much of a difference. I'm not looking forward to a car notes. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want a car note. I don't want extra insurance. But I gotta do something soon because this car is not gonna last and unless I become an expert on all cars, it's just not gonna happen. But yeah, I've had you all for 13 minutes, so let me peace out, y'all. Um, until next time, guys, remember that the best type of wallet to have is always going to be a wealthy one. Can't wait to see y'all next week. Peace.